What's up guys, we're gonna real beast. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use Kepler, which is a stock plugin within Epic Studio, as you can see here, okay? Uh, so to, to make the style that we're gonna to make today, you're gonna to wanna have this swing on 25% over here, okay, this swing. And BPM, it could be really anything. So we're gonna um, pull in a scale. We could probably do a major for this. Let's do like a G sharp. I think that'll be fine. Okay. All right, so I named it. So we can go ahead. We could just use this one uh, for our chords. So I'm gonna give you a little baseline you can use just to make this a lot easier. So um, basically we start on the root and you could just make a dyad like so. Um, so this will be a triad. You just delete that top note have this we can move this over and then from here we're just going to copy them over and just move it down one okay and then obviously you want to adjust the scale so you just move it like this and then this will be our baseline and then i'm gonna just hold shift and in between just adjust these maybe we could do something like that and i'm gonna actually pull this down so now we should have a like heavy baseline now All right now what we're gonna do is take this note here and then go up a fifth so we're gonna go up seven notes one two three four five six seven okay and then at this point is where you'll start to kind of like make it your own uh so from this note you can kind of build a chord so you can just make your chord skip over the note within the scale okay uh so this is what it sound like now and if you really want to cheat and kind of make it um a large chord you can take this note and pull it up all right, so now so it's really really full so from here you can kind of either follow the same thing or i'm gonna show you a little trick you could do you could take this note so instead of just doing the same little thing right you could take this note oops pull them up and then this is how you can really make your chord your own and make it unique you could literally take this right and you can copy a note and just go down one it doesn't the scale doesn't matter just go down one until you find a note that you think sounds good Right, and you can just keep doing that. See? The context. All right, I think that sounds pretty fine. Um, let's see. I'm gonna try to shrink this a bit so you can kind of see all the notes we got going on. Okay. Uh, so now over here, you could just copy this pretty much and just change up notes, right? So. Um, this note sounded pretty good actually earlier, so I'm gonna use this. All right, and you just keep rinse and repeating. I'm gonna shift D that, pull it over. Try to put that in frame a little bit better. And then, yeah, the same thing, right? You just kind of go with the notes. Right, let's just double. Okay, I think that's fine. Maybe we could try actually, let me see. Actually, let's do it twice and then let's just cut that out. So now we have like a little bit of variation. So let's play it. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to our next sound. So for our next sound, we're gonna be using choir. And I, I put the presets here for you. So this is trembling. So you would go to presets and then you would go to XY's labs and it should be somewhere right here. Okay. Uh, so for this sound, we got choir one. And I'm gonna just copy this over. We could just use this as a layer because I think we spent a lot of time on the chords and I think they're full enough. I'm gonna shift D and just kind of move them out. Just change the velocity a bit. And my goal is just to blend them in a bit, so. Okay, I think that's good enough. Um, so we can actually add a little melody with this sound here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now this is the sound that we're gonna be using for 
our melody. So this will kind of make it a little bit more unique. So you can kind of use the same exact kind of technique for this. Um, let's just do half of this. Um, so for this one, same thing we did with the chords, you could just pull in a note and just kind of Actually, I'm going to do one fourth. I want this to be a little faster, just to add a little bit more bounce. Let's copy that over. And again, I want this to be a very smooth like type of beat, so I don't want to like overdo it. Uh, maybe let's switch these. Make the chord backwards, pull that out, and let's see. This should give us some nice bounce. All right, I like that. And then at the end, we can just copy this and just delete. And then I'll just probably just put this on bar and it should repeat. There we go. All right, so I like that. I think actually. Let's not, let's actually let that play out so it's not annoying. Um, so yeah, that's our melody. Okay, and then don't worry about the notes out of the scale. What's more important is you start with the scale to kind of get an idea down, but in the end, you, you might steer off of, you know, the uh, scale, but that's okay, right? Because you just want to use your ear to make the music, right? Not the scale necessarily. So let's go ahead and we can do the drums. Now we're going to go ahead and throw down our drums. So this should be pretty simple. And um, let me see. I think we can start with this little hi hat. And you want to go for some like offbeat um, type of patterns, but not too much though, um, because what we're going to do is start with our drums and then um, make our 808 play off of our drums. So you got to be careful where you place things a little bit. That's fine. And I'm gonna turn this clap up a bit. We're just gonna put it on bar. So I think just for the style that I'm going for, simple, simple drum pattern is probably the best, right? So I think something like this, you can go ahead and copy if you need, but. Okay, and then you could add a variation, but I think I got the point across. So let's go ahead and move on to our 808. Now for the fun part, we're gonna start our 808. So. Uh, we can, since we have such a simple drum pattern, we can go for like two 808 patterns just to kind of have something to mess with. And remember, we still have our bass line here. So it's the G sharp to G C, right? So just kind of remember that. And then turn it up. And then you can just kind of play around with it from. I'm pull that up and then we're going to go ahead and do a little slide here. So I'm going to press this S or this little slide button. Just slide it down. I'm going to just turn these down a bit. I don't want them to be so loud. Like that and I'm gonna just turn some of these off just so it's not ruining the end for me so I can have a clear mind when I'm like making these okay I think that's smooth right 
pretty quick and you could do a lot more but i think for what i have here i think this is fine you don't want to overdo it so yeah we can play the whole thing um i'll probably just mix as as i listen to it but i don't really think it really needs it so And that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe for new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.